Hey, um, um, I can I can hear you, but I can't see you. Can you turn your webcam on? Uh, okay, N now I see you. I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Get it? Uh, yeah, I, I got it. I got it. <laughs> the kinds that you guys do in here is this like a is this like a Zoom meeting for media? You guys need my help with anything? Anything? No? Anything? Um, Nikolai, did you just Zoom bomb us? No, nah, not nah, coach. I don't, I don't know what that means, but I do know it's time for another episode of your nightly news. Here we are with our first ever social distancing version of the nightly news. I'm Connor. Today we are keeping it short with a story on Theater Fest. Hey, it's Reese. We all know that the drama department puts a lot of work into making their shows every semester. This year, all of their hard work has been rewarded with the opportunity to perform their fall show, Freak, at the Illinois High School Theater Festival. Hi, it's Dante, and I'm standing here with co-director Mrs. Swanson. Ms. Swanson, can you tell us a little bit about Theater Fest? Sure. So Theater Fest happens once every year, usually in January when it's either freezing cold or raining buckets of water like this year. And there are over 4,000 kids um, submit shows and like we did this year and we got accepted and we get feedback from them. It has a theme every year and there's a ton of workshops. There were hundreds of workshops offered in improv, acting, dance, singing, auditioning, um, stage makeup, uh, tech stuff. So it was really, there's something for everyone if you're involved in theater and music. So is there anything exciting coming up in drama? Exciting? In drama? I don't know what you're talking about. Drama kids. What the heck is happening with them? Hi, I'm Dante, and I'm here with junior Ashton and senior Emily from the drama department. We're going to talk a little bit about Theater Fest. So, Emily, what is Theater Fest? Um, well, it's a festival where a bunch of different schools come together and all meet in one area to put on shows that their school may have done or to work on workshops to improve their all-around theater skills. So what did you do at Theater Fest? Uh, well, we put on our show, Freak, that was selected, and then I also went and saw some shows with just some friends to support other schools. Sounds like a lot of fun. And how was the um, Allstate production? It was really well done. It always is every year, but this has probably got to be one of the best years that they've had. So Ashton, what did you do at Theater Fest? Well, at Theater Fest, uh, I went out and saw a lot of productions with my friends. Uh, we had a good time going and uh, seeing different high schools perform, so that was a lot of fun. So what shows did you see? Uh, I ended up seeing uh, Eurydice which was a Greek-based uh, play, and uh, it was pretty good. The, it was probably my favorite production. Um, I also saw uh, a Little Trap of Horrors, which was interesting. So, Emily, can you tell us a little bit about the production of Freak that we brought to Theater Fest? Yeah, we put in a lot of hard work here, and a lot of people came to support it, which is amazing every year. But we also had an adjudicator come and they decided that we were fitting for the theme this year. And we were able to go to CPA theater and perform on a real stage, which is really amazing, honestly, for some of the people who never have done that before, or even just us who don't get that chance very often. So how did it feel being able to take a show your senior year to Theater Fest? It was really cool. I started my freshman year and we were able to take one of our shows then as well and then being able to just finish it off by doing the exact same thing, taking a show was amazing. It was just a good way to finish out senior year as a theater kid. So Ashton, do you have any thoughts or opinions on our production of Freak that we brought to Theater Fest? Uh, yeah, so Freak, I, the show itself, I think it has a powerful message and I did find it to be a lot of fun playing my character, of course. 
Also, Emily, if I recall properly, we had a little incident during our show Freak that had to do with a little um, stagecraft where I was supposed to reach into your pocket and pull out a card. Would you like to tell the audience what happened in that moment? I didn't put the card in the right pocket, so we had to improvise, and Dante was able to overcome and get the card out of the wrong pocket and keep the show going relatively smoothly after that. But not without... Improv? You slapping my hand twice on stage in front of 100 kids, maybe 200 kids, maybe 300 kids. I don't know how many kids were in that audience. So thank you guys for coming out here and um, letting me interview you guys. Any last comments? Group hug. Congratulations to the FHS Drama Club on this amazing accomplishment. Make sure you come see the spring musical, Sue School the Musical. Well, not a lot of social distancing going on in that video. Or a face mask. So Nikolai, we'll see you soon with another edition of Your, Your Nightly, Nightly News. News. Nikolai, oh, never mind. Uh, thanks, guys. Glad you could uh, jump in for this. We'll see you soon.